Welcome to the SELA episode of the Christian Men at Work podcast. We're in between my interviews with Christian men. I talk about five things. S is something on my heart. E is an example of faith at work. L is logos or a passage from scripture related to work. A is an announcement. And H is a handy tip to help you be more effective at your work. Men at Work, welcome to episode 176, which is SELA episode 80. I saw a church sign this last week that caught my eye, and it said, Duct tape works great, but three nails fixed everything. Now, I don't mind bumper stick phrases, um, or nowadays you may be could say meme phrases, uh, or in this case, church sign phrases. <laughs> uh, they have their place, uh, phrases that are real simple, but they capture a deeper meaning. Um, I actually really like church signs. I, I keep an eye out for them all the time. Uh, you could say it's kind of like parables, uh, though I don't think that's exactly the same, because uh, you, Yeshua said that he... Um, would actually hide them, the true meaning, uh, from unbelievers uh, in parables. So it's not a, a, an exact uh, comparison there. But anyway, um, so this church sign made me think about a sign that I've seen come up a bunch in my um, uh, years, uh, mainly as an engineer, but I've seen it elsewhere. And basically, I'm going to try and vi- uh, describe it to you. <laughs> It has a can of WD-40 on one side and um, duct tape on the other. And then there's this little tree and it says, Problem, Uh, is something moving, yes or no? And if it's no, it says, should it be moving? And it says yes, then you end up working your way down to WD-40. And if it's not moving and it should be moving, then, um, uh, or it is moving and it's not, should be moving. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I, I am blowing this, but <laughs> it, it, that's the idea is that one way or another you can fix everything either by, um, duct tape or WD 40. So I just thought that you, I could update that chart if I can dig it up and find it and work it in with this church sign I saw where <laughs> where uh, does it is something needing fixed um, yes then Jesus is the answer um, are things still need to be taken care of yes and then from there it would go to the WD-40 and the duct tape so uh, that was my attempt at uh, drawing something deep from that chart that I have always enjoyed. But it, it, it makes me think about this whole issue of, you know, what was all included in um, the redemption and sanctification um, and everything that uh, was provided in the atonement by uh, the death and resurrection of, of Yeshua. Uh, and... It's not uh, really easy to grasp, Um, but here are some ways of thinking about it. He fixed everything, he is still fixing everything, and he will fix everything. And all three of those statements are true. Um, He is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. He never changes. He's outside time. He made everything perfect, and yet he will make everything perfect again. So what does this have to do with our work? Uh, Well, a lot, and it's hard to totally understand it, but here are some thoughts. Um, You know, at creation, work was perfect. After the fall, there was toil. Then Jesus died and was resurrected, and he made all things new. We are new creatures. So what does that mean for our work? 
I don't know the complete answer, but I will know that I know this. My work is different since I became a child of God. And I know that our world is broken. And if something's broken, it needs fixing. And as part of the kingdom of Elohim, we are part of this restoration process. We are privileged to be part of it. We are privileged to be the hands and feet of Jesus. And how do we fix this world? Well, it's not with WD-40. It's not with duct tape. It's not even with our own strength, but it's by the power of the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit. And that is the only answer to the problems in this world. And, But our work and our interaction with others through our work every day is a part of this amazing process. I wanted to offer a few follow-ups to last week's discussion where I was talking about um, uh, not offending others and avoiding strife. Um, I came across a couple of Proverbs that I, I just thought really fit that well. Proverbs 17, 9 says, Whoever covers an offense seeks love, but he who repeats a matter separates close friends. So at work, if someone does something that offended you or um, you don't like, are you someone who covers it? In other words, you you uh, uh, you seek love with that as opposed to trying to get upset about it or tell or tell others about it. Uh, next is Proverbs seventeen fourteen. The beginning of strife is like letting out water, so quit before the quarrel breaks out. This is a good one in marriage. It's also a good one in, in work. Um, don't let that quarrel break out. You have control over nipping that in the butt right away. All right, next is E, an example of faith at work. I want to lift up Juan Carlos, who has an amazing ministry um, in a, a YouTube channel called Light to the Nations. And I just encourage you to check it out. The, the reason, there's several reasons why I lift him up as an example of faith at work. Um, one of them is he is in a secular uh, job, and yet he is doing this ministry. Um, and uh, so I just know from what I know of him so far that he is living out his faith through his work. I just know it. But when it comes to the ministry that I've been exposed to in his teaching... He's just such a uh, an example of high integrity, where he's he's not even asking for do for money or donations. He's not charging for anything. Um, he's putting out amazing teaching content, and um, but isn't uh, doing things the world's way. So I encourage you to check him out. Uh, next is L for Logos, and I was reading Nehemiah this week. I did one of those, um, what do you call them, lottery or roulette wheel Bible reading or whatever, where you, you just open the Bible and see what opens up. And this week I tried that, and it was Nehemiah. So I read through that. And one of the verses was uh, verse um, chapter 3, verse 29. After them, Zadok, the son of Immer, made repairs in front of his own house. And I just thought... This is applicable. This is when they're re rebuilding Jerusalem and enlisted all these people who made repairs in front of their own house. And I just thought, man, we need to take care of our own house. That includes our family, our marriage. It also includes um, our workplace because that those are the zones the areas that we have great influence over that God has has gifted us. And um, before we start thinking about um, what do we need to do to save the world, let's think about real things that are a part of our life every single day. And that includes our, our family and that includes our work. Uh, next is uh, H, a handy tip. We'll finish up with a joke, a clean joke you can tell at work. Why did the little boy cross the playground to get to the other slide? And I hope you have a blessed rest of your week. 
Love you guys, and uh, God bless. Talk to you soon.